Hey, what's up, YouTubers? It's Casual706 here with another Transformers unboxing. Today I have Transformers Combiner Wars Firefly. I also have his G1 counterpart right here for you guys to kind of get a comparison. I've already opened uh, the toy to look at it. I was really excited about about these figures. I can't wait to get the whole set so I can so I can put together Superion. But uh, as you see, here's the the package. Uh, the back doesn't have a bio or anything, but it does have a depiction of how you would put these guys together to form Superion. In the picture, they actually have a drag strip, which is one of the uh, one of the Decepticon Stunicons uh, in the picture. So we may be short one limb on a Superion for a while. I think uh, Wave One is just uh, four of the aerial bots and and uh, one of the Stunicons uh, drag strip. So I'm going to go ahead and open up the package now. With the package, you will get his instruction manual, and you'll also get uh, one of these collector cards here. Uh, there's nothing on the back of the card, really. It just says uh, Gen Generations Transformers, but you will get one of these cards with each purchase. So I'm going to put that off to the side. You'll get this instruction manual with him depicting how to transform him into robot mode as well as how to transform him into his limb modes. Each of these guys are exchangeable as a foot or, or an arm uh, in their respective combiners. The back side will also have some, some stuff here to, to show you. These are really long instructions here. So, anyway, so we'll pull out all the parts here and get the packaging off to the side. <clears throat> all right. So we get a closer look of a uh, of Firefly here next to his G1 counterpart. Uh, off top, you can see he's a lot more articulated and a lot more detailed, but still very similar to the original G1 toy. You're also going to get these, uh, these are the feet for the combiners and there's a little tab here you can flip it out and then bend the, the thumb around it can become a hand also. Now the thumb is on a on a swivel joint here so you can make it a left hand or you can make it a right hand. Like that there, and there's already announcements of, of third-party add-ons uh, that are better, better hands and better feet for them that actually transform into to weapons for the toys. These also have pegs on them, so you can you can do them as weapons. There's little uh, portholes. I guess you could get him to hold the cannon. It's like a little five millimeter port. So he could do it like that and have the cannon. And then he's also got his his other gun here, so he could he could dual wield. I guess you could have him dual wielding, kind of like that there. So I'm gonna tuck these off to the side for a second. I'm gonna go ahead and transform him into his jet mode for you to see that. Now these guys are pretty easy to to transform, really. Uh, the first thing that you would do would be to swivel his head around to the back there. You lift the jet canopy here up and put it into place. The arms are just going to tuck off to the sides. Uh, actually, I believe we have to wait on that. Now the legs, let's see if I can get that to show there. You're going to split the legs apart and then you're going to fold the joint down into the leg and bring it up like that and then you just close it back up make sure it pegs in up here and then you're going to repeat the process with the other leg here so you're going to split it open split it open like that push that this hinge here 
down to the bottom and then you'll just whoop, push it down to the bottom there and then you close the top portion up and make sure it tabs in with all its, all its respective spots then you fold the wings down fold the tail fin back down now you'll just tuck the arms off to the sides here they'll actually peg into place uh, right here so you're going to push that down tab it in fold the wings down and there he is in his jet mode I'm also going to transform the G1 toy real quick so you can get an idea of what they look like side by side with the with the jet modes so I've got him together there so as you can see they did a, a pretty good representation or actually a pretty good update of the toy to make it look a lot a lot cooler and there's also a little landing landing thing here landing wheel that you can stand him up better with so he does look very much like his G1 G1 toy here kinda So that's Firefly there. Now I'm gonna go ahead and put them into the let's see, I'm gonna put them into the limb modes for you. The limb mode should be pretty easy to do here. So uh we'll do the foot first. So for the foot, uh, you are gonna actually have to open it up a little bit here. Have to fold the legs down and uh you have to fold the legs down and flip the head around to get the connector joint out. And then you put them back into place here. You'll have to fold that tail fin, tail fin in there. Oops, it's all coming apart. Oops, the arms. Okay. So we'll snap them all back together there. And then you got to fold these two front wings out and we'll put his foot into place. There's a little, little push, push in section down here that you'll put his foot into. And then you have to bend the tab back here. That's like a back, back tab for his foot. So you end up with that as a foot mode here. Then the arm mode is going to be just as easy. You're going to close the close the hand up, flip that around there. Then you can pick uh, which way you want his thumb to go, depending on if it's, a, if it's a left arm or a right arm. And then this connector joint, you're just going to turn it out to the side here, and that'll snap in. That'll snap in there as his. Uh, just for his arm mode there and like I say the thumb is is switchable you can switch it over to the other side so just that easy he becomes a left arm instead of a right arm so now we'll pull that off put him back into jet mode I believe that there's a way I believe there's a way for you to display all of the the guns and whatnot when he's in jet mode. I see a couple of tabs here on the bottom of his wings so you could uh, put his blaster on there. He'd have a one-sided one-sided blaster there I guess. Uh, there's no no tabs per se on the top of it and I doubt I doubt that this is gonna fit on the side. It may barely yeah you could uh, you could do that so he's got a huge cannon on his left side and he's got a small cannon on his right side so you could do it like that so I'm gonna transform him back into jet mode here real quick I love how these guys are just so so easy to so easy to transform there's not not too too much complication involved in it. So to transform him back, you got to get the little leg tab situated there, so you can snap it together. It'll just snap. 
And then we'll push this one out and get it ready. Snap it into place here. Then you fold his jet canopy down out of the way, spin his head around, and lift his arms up here. And I'll transform his G1 version for one last comparison. And there we go. So you have him again by his G1 counterpart. So that has been Transformers Combiner Wars Firefly. I really appreciate you guys tuning in. I thank you for the view. Be sure to rate, comment, and subscribe. And stay tuned to my channel for more Transformer unboxing. Thanks guys for tuning in again. I'm out.